big one. Big giant. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Jesus! Help me! Help me! Yeah! 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 Hey everybody, Mike Geikinelli here. Welcome to a brand new vlog from Tackle Warehouse. Man, this is unbelievable. Uh, I hope you've been following along in this series. We are in North Florida. We're at uh, Swanee River Preserve. It's a series of lakes. The fishing here is unbelievable. The problem is we're dealing with a cold front. We had a good day on a swim jig. We had a decent day on a spinner bait, but the thing we were lacking was big fish. We made a switch in that last lake and we switched to a ghillie. And I had a feeling, I had a bite on my first cast, caught, a, caught another one on my third cast. I had a feeling that this bait was gonna show out. Man, I, I wanna talk to you all about it. It's new, it's natural, it's real. It looks like an actual bluegill and it's gonna produce a lot of these massive fish. Yeah! Look at the size of that bluegill I just caught. No, just kidding. It's the new Berkeley Powerbait Gilly. Made a little move. We came back to the lake where I caught a six pounder a few days ago. We're here to give it another go with the gilly. We got it rigged four different ways. We're looking for a couple big girls. Come on, let's see what happens. And Corey's the worst producer ever. <laughs> He's caught the big fish every day from the back of the boat. Most opportunistic producer. <laughs> Amazing. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Not a big one, but I got one. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Look at that. All right. Not a big one, guys. Look at this. I mean, I'm, I want to show you because I'm glad I caught this little fish because you look at the ghillie, and the ghillie is an unbelievable bluegill wide-bodied bait fish replica it's great for big fish but look at that there's a pound and a halfer and he choked it so that's a good look at what they do they can't stand it right let me let this fish go and i want to tell you about some of the features of this berkeley power bait ghillie all right when you look at this bait um, the key features and benefits are it mimics a wide-bodied bait fish. The look, the action, the feel, even the texture. Uh, when you look at this bait, we've got it in three sizes, a 90, a 110, and a 130. This is the 130 size. But look at the, the profile of that thing. It's just like something in the panfish family, right? A bluegill, a sunfish, a warmouth, a crappie, a rock bass, any of those wider-bodied forage. But now I want you to really zoom in on it and take a look at this body. And they have a stamping process that die cuts the body, just in the back. And what that lets this bait do, and this is the magic of the ghillie, you ready? It actually has that swimming motion, just like a real bluegill or panfish. That whole back of that bait is pliable. It's got that ability to snake and slither through the water. The other great thing about that die cut material they feel it. It feels real. It's almost like spongy. The fish don't want to let it go. The guys at Berkeley have actually um, put a hollow spot in the top of this bait. So if you look at it, there's actually the top half of this bait is hollow. There's a little cavity right there. There's some rigging options for that, but by having the top of the bait hollow and the bottom of the bait solid, when you rig it, this is the interesting thing, right? Look, I've got it rigged with a three aught keel weighted swim bait hook. And when I rig it, you would assume it would swim this way. But because the top's hollow and the bottom is solid, it swims this way. Anatomically correct in the natural position. And even when you kill it and let it settle to the bottom, it settles to the bottom in the correct position. 
You add that power bait smell and flavor to a bait that has the most unbelievable realistic action in the water, and you've got something the fish can't stand. And even a little one like that, they just want to swallow it. Um, number one, now hopefully that was the first of many to come on this new lake. We're out here with the Tackle Warehouse guys doing some vlogging. Uh, that's at Gilly. Pretty, pretty amazing. Got him. Vegan. Nope, no good one though. Decent one. No, it's not a good one, but. Look at that thing. <laughs> it looks like a giant bluegill hanging from his face. Once again, not a great giant fish, but the power of the ghillie. Um, there's something in swim bait fishing called drawing power. Basically what drawing power means is fish are attracted to the bait from a long ways away. And that's done by profile and action. When you look at that coming through the water with that natural swim, there's not very many soft plastics that have that wide bodied profile. Does such a good job of mimicking panfish and bluegill and that's a primary forage for the fish. You sprinkle into that the spawn phase when bass get shallow around beds. They don't like bluegill when they're spawning. It's another great time to throw this ghillie. Come on, I know there's a big one out there. I know there's a great big one out there. Here's one, big one, big one, good one. I mean, way up there on that log. Not a giant, but a good one. Gone too, absolutely gone. <sighs> Another ghillie fish, guys, look at that. That's no joke. There's a great look at, there's a great look at how they eat that thing. You know, once again, I keep preaching this, but profile, drawing power, the fluidity of the body, that natural action, anatomically correct position with that tail wag. Last but not least, you ready? Look at this. You add that power bait scent to it and you got, you got a winner. You know, these fish right now, are they're up on this flat. You can see these are males. We've had a severe cold front here in Florida, so the males finally, finally are starting to show up. We're probably gonna miss it by a day or two, but the females are eventually gonna be here. When they see a bluegill swimming by them and they're around that shallow water cover, lights out, it's over. All right, guys, I want to show you a little bit about the retrieve for this. Again, what I'm trying to do on my retrieve is make this look like a natural bluegill. So I'm going to use a combination of a medium, steady retrieve, right? It's going to get that fluidity. But I want you to watch. I throw, I throw a pause and a pull into it. And when I pull and pause it, I bow to it. And what that does is this bait's going to have that fluidity to it. A lot of times in bass are following it. When I pull and pause and then bow back to it, you're actually gonna get a little 360 spin on this bait. And listen to me, when that bait spins and turns and looks at that fish head on, a lot of times that's when you get the bite. All right, here it goes. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna make a long cast past where I think the bass are at. When that hits, I'm gonna just start that nice medium steady retrieve, but watch, I pull and pause. And when I throw those pauses in there, I bow to it. I actually throw line to it. And that's gonna make that bait turn on itself and actually give you a little 360 spin. So, medium retrieve, pause. Medium retrieve, pull, pause. Medium retrieve, pull, pause. And that, that's the deal. And when that, a lot of times when that bait pauses and it, it actually turns. When it looks at them, that's when they eat it.
There's a good one. There's a, might be a big, big one. No, it's a pretty good one now. Definitely a decent one. God, it's amazing. Look at this. Paper thin, but look at how they eat that bait. <laughs> that just, that's proof right there. If you're watching this and you're like, ah, I don't know about that gilly. Is that a gimmick? I mean, look at that. When fish eat a bait like that, that's a good bait. And um, like I said, the, th the deal with that is look at the profile, right? Look at the shape, look at the profile. Watch the swimming action. That thing is a little panfish. That profile has drawing power by action, by look, and by smell. It's a power bait gilly. Look at that thing, he's emaciated. <laughs> She'll weigh three pounds. You weigh a pound and a half. They said it's a new lake, so it's a lot in that same size. There goes my bait. All right, I'll tell you a little bit about the setup I'm using for this ghillie. Um, here's the nice thing about the ghillie. Let me show you a package real quick. Even though this bait is a non-traditional looking swim bait, here's the good news about it, you ready? You're gonna throw a ghillie on the same exact rod that you already throw your smaller swim baits, right? So if you're already throwing um, a grass pig or a reaction innovation skinny dipper or a small mag draft or those smaller swim baits, same exact rod, um, a 7.4 to a 7.6 medium heavy is the right rod for these baits. This is the Abu Garcia Ike Series 7.4 medium heavy. It's a great small swim bait rod. Uh, real. Definitely, um, you want a gear ratio, it's a little bit faster. You notice a lot of these fish we caught today, even the smaller ones, they hit it and they come at you. So a, a eight, eight zero to one or higher. This is the Abu Garcia Revo Ike. Last but not least, fluorocarbon, man. To get this thing to have that natural action that we keep talking about, fluorocarbon's the deal. Um, I like the lighter fluorocarbon you know, 12 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, but 15 or 17 is really the deal. Today we're throwing the 17 pound fluorocarbon. Um, give us, give us technique a shot, man. If you fish a lot of swim baits that are long, that are traditional minnow style swim baits, give that one a try. That broader profile to mimic a bluegill or a panfish or a warmouth or even a little gizzard shad, this is gonna get you more bites.